Hey guys, this is Eric with Scott Lover Marketing and in this tip video I wanted to cover how to set up a DocuSign account from the back end of command and where you want it to be logged in before you even start the process of course. So of course I'm logged in at agent.kw.com which is my command and I'm also logged in in the inbox that I'm going to be using for the um, to create the DocuSign account. Um, so I'm back in command and I'm going to go to my name on the right hand side and I'm going to click on settings. And I purposely left my other account connected here just so you could see that this is where you, you can only have one account connected to command at a time, but this is where you would come to send that email, which initially in, initially will create that DocuSign account um, as well. So I'm going to disconnect this from here right because I don't want to use that email I want to use another email we do have a tip video that will show you how to update your email with DocuSign so if you wanted to update your email or you needed to update your email with DocuSign you want to um, watch that tip video I can link it under this one because um, the process will be a little bit different and what's going to happen is you're still going to have to come here and disconnect it and then log in with the updated email as well as the new, you know the password but that's a different process so now I'm just gonna refresh my screen here real quick and I have DocuSign down here so I'm gonna click on connect account and of course it's gonna to default to the email address that's under my profile under my command uh, marketing profile but that's not the email that I want to use for this example I'm gonna go ahead and click on um, I'm gonna update the email that I want to use So Eric, that's the email that I'm going to use for today's example. So just want to verify, make sure you type it in there correctly um, and that, you know, it all looks okay. First and last name looks fine. And we're going to go ahead and click on send email registration. All right, so that's been sent and the system will then say, in progress. A lot of people get confused with what in progress means. This isn't going to update on its own. All you can do on this end from this point further is resend that email. You only have a couple of tries to resend the email before DocuSign and Command will be like, hey, there's an account under this email already. We can't resend it. So that's why it's very important to be signed in to the email that you're going to want to, that you're using for your account so you, that you don't miss anything. So as you can see here, I have my email. I'm going to click on that. And here's my welcome email. So I'm going to, you know, click back here. This will still stay in progress until we do our last step. So I'm going to go back to the email. I'm going to click on activate invite, accept invite, sorry. So we're accepting that invite. And it's going to prompt you right away to use your name and password. So I'm going to set up my password. Okay, got to retype that real quick. And then I always use the, we always use here at Scott Word, we use the number you remember most from childhood and we end up just putting in your business phone number, which um, for most agents, you won't forget your business phone number. So that's why we, we um, use that the most. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just type in our, our support phone number. So it's 321 dash, we, we use the dashes, 236. Uh, 2568. So now I'm going to accept this. I'm not going to save just yet. Accept. And most of the time it's going to prompt you here um, to authorize this account. This is going to finalize the in progress that you have here within this command backend setup section under the application. So I'm going to go back here. I'm going to click on authorize. It's going to open up command. It's going to say, hey, you're, you know, you're, you're logged in. But you see how it still just says in progress. Sometimes it will prompt you to log in, but it won't always do that, which is why I wanted to make sure to click on that. So what we're going to do now is we're not going to resend the email. We're going to click on authorize. 
Once you click on authorize, it's going to say, oh, nope, we have an account. Now let's go ahead and sign in. So now I'm going to go ahead and type in my password that I selected and hit log in. It's going to want to remember, we're going to accept. And now the in progress is going to update and it's just going to say connected. If for whatever reason it didn't, it wouldn't prompt you to, to enter in your password, you'd have to click on authorize and there's at the bottom, it'll say sign in. You have to actually click on sign in and that little box would pop up. Um, the one thing I will say is, as you saw here, follow those steps as quick as possible to make sure that you're moving along. Because if the system feels that you're taking too long, sometimes those emails can get, you know, blacklisted in a way where it will give you an error message, even though you haven't finished the setup. You do have to finish this setup within a reasonable amount of time. I just don't know what that reasonable amount of time is. So I would just recommend doing it as quick and, you know, as correctly as possible. So now my DocuSign account is connected to command and it is ready to use. The only other thing that I want to mention while I'm here is this is your DocuSign account. It's going to automatically link to your market center depending on, you know, the information that's into your command. So there's nothing you need to do there. However, one thing I will mention since I'm here is you're going to go over to your initials or your, you know, your initials at the top right. You're going to click on preferences and you're gonna go into integrations. Depending on which state you're in, you're gonna have a couple options on how you can connect your, um, your integrations. And what I mean with this is how you get your paperwork into command. Some states, depending on where you are, will automatically have documents under the My Documents tab. So when you go to My Documents and you go to Forms, you're going to have your paperwork, it's available, it's good to go. As an example here, because I haven't entered in my NSR NRDS ID number, um, the paperwork that I have here is being provided to me through my market center, through my office, which means I don't have, I have whatever my market center has included, but I don't have all of the state forms that for my state might be, you know, a good amount of paperwork. So if you're an agent who needs that paperwork, you need to finish, you know, integrating your account to make sure that you have access to all that paperwork. Some states, once you create this account, You'll have a folder here that'll be named by the state you're in and it'll have all your paperwork in there. In my case, I'm in Florida, so I need to go and do that extra step as most agents will have to do. So I'm gonna go back over here on the right hand side, click on my name, and I'm gonna click on preferences. And I'm gonna click under integrations and I'm going to try to sign up with um, the, the, the National, National Association of Realtors. However, I do have that other account that we did at the beginning of this video, so it may give me a little bit of pushback. So let's hope that I can do that. So I'm gonna click here, I'm gonna click on Realtor. If you don't know your NRDS ID number, you can click here. You can search with the email address and your last name. The email address would be where you get the emails to renew your license. Whatever email you get those notifications at is the email you wanna enter in here. Of course, if you know your real estate license number, you can use that. And, and your last name. I know my um, MLS number, so I'm just going to go ahead and go back to DocuSign, and I'm going to um, start typing that in here. And let me just verify that I have the right number real quick. So we're gonna go to preferences here real quick, bear with me. And my number is 261. Two six one five five zero one six six. I'm going to select Florida Association of Realtors. And again, in some states, your NRDS ID number may be completely different from your MLS ID number. In the state of Florida, it just so happens that our MLS ID numbers are the same as our NRDS ID numbers. I know that was a lot of abbreviations there, but um, if you use that link, it'll help you find your correct ID number. I'm going to hit validate. Hopefully, it'll let me do this. Perfect. It worked. So I'm gonna go here. Now, when I go back under my documents and then I go under forms, here is the Florida Association of Realtors, which are the state provided forms to me as a licensed agent to then you know, perform real estate or what have you. So these are all the forms that are now available on my account. I can use them to create rooms and do all that other good stuff. So again, um, now I'm connected in command. I'm ready to work if I need to create an opportunity as well as I'll have all of my forms available to me 
within DocuSign Rooms. I hope this video helped. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us at support at scottlawarmarketing.com and hope you have a great day. Bye.